All right, and we're live with Eric Tesmer here at the Pace Studio in downtown Atlanta, Georgia, and we're pretty stoked about it. Soundcheck's been rad. Thanks for coming through. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know we're going to hear three songs today, and the first of which is totally unreleased. I'd like to hear a little bit about it. Uh, it's instrumental. It's unreleased. It's a surf tune, and we wrote it in a snowstorm. Nice. That's a good juxtaposition. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Snowstorm. What is that called? Since it's a snowstorm surf song, Does it Mammoth Surf. Time? We wrote it on Mammoth Mountain in California. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, it sounds awesome. As does all of the stuff during Soundcheck. Um, I know you guys are in town tonight for a show at Smith's Old yeah. Bar. First time. Be in cool. Atlanta. First time. First time. No shit. Awesome. Well, welcome. Thank you. Welcome to Atlanta, and welcome to to our little piece of it here. Um, and welcome. tomorrow, welcome. what's up? I was welcoming them. Oh yeah, All, everybody. Who who is the band actually? That's a great. Uh, Jason Rathman on the bass. Rathman. Right on. Mark Reddix on the drums. Awesome, awesome. Sounding great. Uh, the three of you are a killer trio, and uh, yeah, uh, you've got a day off tomorrow, and then I know you're heading up to. You got some northeast states in Pennsylvania, uh, Scranton, Sellersville. Um, you're in Beverly, Massachusetts, uh, the Iridium in New York City. You're up in the Midwest after that. Chicago, Des Moines, Kansas City. You're all over the place. Yeah. Um, we travel. Yeah. We yeah. get around. You have, But we you like have not say. been to Atlanta yet, which is yeah. interesting. I've so. driven through it. Okay. Well, I'm glad you've uh, made a stop here as, uh, finally. Um, yeah. And uh, wh where have you been along this little uh, this little routing so far? Uh, we were just down in Florida for five dates. Cool. Cool. And that was the start of our tour. But Nice. Here we are going up to the the white northeast. Yeah. It's, it's snow and drizzle yeah i was we were just uh discussing the frozen lake michigan uh which you're gonna see i'm sure when you get to chicago so um right on well i'm glad this has happened and that we are here today um i know the next track is from a couple eps ago uh would love to hear a little bit more about that one uh it's called miss fortune teller it's about getting over shit we're not on tv so i've it's been told fine. i swear i already told you it's fine so we're good uh, all right
She smiled and said, boy, it's just a hand that's spinning the wheel. Very nice. Yeah, you guys, I'm loving this. That's uh, That song covered like blues, southern rock, classic rock, like all of this stuff kind of at once. Um, that that big like breakdown, I'm like, I felt like I was listening to Hawkwind or something. Like it was, it was very, oh, very cool. Yeah. I never heard a Hawkwind reference. In yeah, a yeah. I mean, I, I heard one. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, thanks to you guys for, for, for bringing this. For bringing what you do here um and eric i know that you've kind of got uh thank you for playing a couple of our cool amps that we have here that oh, kent yeah. is getting used which is Thanks i always let me man i always love it i know you're kind of really into uh rare classic guitars and amplifiers and i know you typically play through a leslie yeah um and uh, i've seen a few videos uh kind of doing um a premier guitar does like a rig rundown thing right. and i know this wasn't with them but maybe you've done one of those too but i'd love to hear a little bit more about how that fits into your sound and your your personal your persona sort of uh thing. yeah i mean most of my rig i just like my pedal board it's a really i mean we have a video of that online um but it, i don't know i just nerd out yeah and like just go as far as i can with like my leslie and my pedal board my different amps and stuff it's just constantly constantly something that can break so, yes. Yeah. 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 Lots of. So I just like, I like to build into it more, so I have more stuff to fix all the time. Basically, like classic cars, they're not that different, really. Right. Um. Yeah. I mean, that Strat looks like it's seen a lot of action. Is that a? Is that an oldie or just something that you? Uh, yeah. This is a '59 Strat. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 And it helps if you have like three hands to play it. And I was, you took the words right out of my mouth. Um. A, a, a part of our studio that's been a long running, um, gag prop. Uh. A, important sightline notifier you've got the you've got the sticky hand going on yeah yeah is it helping like pondering stuff yeah yeah just like ooh, that's been in that's not the first ear that thing's been in by the way i hope it's not um it's it's nice and i i kind of was hoping it would like reach down and maybe like pluck some of the strings above the nut it's it's kind of my first time <laughs> uh, I need to work on my technique a little bit. It's just more just kind of a standard attention type of guy right now. Okay. I'm but, into uh, that. I mean, it's the constant, like, you don't even, doesn't even matter what camera you're looking into. You're constantly I'm kinda, saying hello. I was kind of hoping that like, I'd just be playing and just like lost in the moment and all this little hand would come out of nowhere <laughs> and just start chipping in. It right? was definitely involved in your solos in the last song, it, uh, at least. It, yeah. It's nice like, and flexible. I, it's... I felt like nice breeze, like it's been kind of, you know, fanning while I was playing. Yeah, yeah. Like the more intense you get, the more it flops around. It's constantly in agreement. Which is like when I need the most airflow. Right. You know. Well, that hand is very important to to, to us in in the studio. So, and I hope that Ian Harris is watching this right now because it's going to make him so happy. Good. Um, thank you for grabbing that off of the little light and throwing it on your guitar. I think I think I noticed it before I noticed the amps. I was like, perfect. All right. Well, and and you know what. Uh, yeah, that is as as good as any rare guitar or amplifier could be. Um, yeah, man, thanks for being a good sport. Yeah. Um, we got another track today, and I know it's a single off your 2019 album. I'd love to hear a little bit more about what we're going to close with. Uh, it's called Good So Bad. Um, everyone in this band is sober, uh, so it's a song about being fucked up. Right on. Not in a good way. Right. <laughs>
Yeah, man. This sounds great. All right. Thank you guys for coming and doing this. Uh, I'm imagining you got to make your way over to Smith's at this point, but uh, yeah, yeah. Well. Please come and do this again next time you guys are in town or up in New York at the other studio. This has been a, a blast. Yeah, Actually, man. Thank maybe you. Maybe you might. New York has to be a bit more stripped down, so maybe this is the right studio. But I hope we get a chance to do this again. It's been a great hang, and you guys. Cool, you know, man. Thanks for having us. Sounds awesome. Yeah. We'll be um, back. All right. Take care.